Harrelson Hall is now a hill, but yet the brickyard is borderline unchanged, you know? And so, so many memories remain very intact. I lived in UT freshman year, and then I lived in Denham Fraternity Court for a couple of years, and then I lived off campus for like half a year. So when I was on campus, the only place to kind of land all the time was either in the brickyard, getting some food, or at the library to study. When I decided to switch to TV and film and everything, I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing. The idea of paying it forward is so good because when I did get out there and I got to LA and was able to sit down and have coffee with people, it always leads to something else. You know, one of the first people that I was able to sit down in a room with was this guy, Bill Lawrence, who created Spin City and Scrubs and Cougar Town and was one of the creators of Ted Lasso. And I'm still working with him to this day, but you never know where these initial conversations might lead. And, and I, I love that. Like, I love that the sort of the meandering path that a lot of it takes. ever pans out I think the way you intend it to which I think is pretty universal for everybody in, in a lot of ways except for the, those really good planners and then it works out for them and I had the freedom I think within this sort of huge NC State community to find a sort of smaller world in the Greek life space and then I ended up becoming the president of our fraternity I was a SIG up and the the fun challenges that come from trying to be a president of a fraternity are not dissimilar from running a production. It's, it's very akin to herding cats most of the time. Angry cats that are wet and trying to run from a fire hose. I mean, no one wants to do what you want them to do. Uh, everyone's got their own agenda at all times. And no matter how much you tell everybody what you know they're gonna finally figure out, they're not gonna hear it until they see it for themselves. So I did it, I sort of did a little soul searching and kind of came back to like, if I wasn't gonna go into entertainment, I would, did find myself endlessly fascinated by the human body and medicine and everything that was, you know, in that realm. And so I switched my major to biology with the intention that if this long shot didn't pay off, I had something that, you know, there was an actual career track to. I could, you know, get a degree, I could go into, you know, I could take the MCATs, I could go to med school and all that, and I just n never truly believed in it, I think. I think I was passionate about what I wanted to do in entertainment, even though I didn't know how it was gonna happen. One summer I got together with a buddy, we shot some music videos, so I spent the next semester editing those and learning how that worked. Um, then we shot a documentary another, the following summer, and I was going back and forth with my friend working on that for the whole school year, pretty much. The school, the high school I'd gone to was 500 kids. And I remember getting here and being very intimidated by the you know, 25,000 students that make up sort of what the active Wolfpack community was. And finding over the course of my first year here that you can find sort of these pockets of very tight-knit community within the larger family, you know? And, and the idea that that all exists and coexists, I think is one of the more special things about what makes up the Wolfpack.